Now, it might be a good idea to position our military on the other side, though, of all these things. You go and rest, and be ready for a follow-up. Although, we're going to need to upgrade them. If we do another war, it's going to be combo era warfare. Here, you can go and stand up in that side. You can go and heal where you are. You're going to chill over here, and probably, like, literally just chill and do nothing. Um, I can definitely see some sort of, like, citadel tricks or something on the other side later. Um, oh, we can grab territory. You're right. If we bought, say, this tile, we could build a citadel here and steal two tiles away from Hong Kong. Now, oh, I can't buy tiles as York because they haven't been annexed. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to wait then. And we've got the happiness, we could theoretically annex them. We might just wait until resistance over and then do it. Can I rename a city? No, I can't rename the city. While it's a puppet. Buy tiles, use general to grab the cow. Well, we're probably going to get London, right? So we don't actually have to go, like, that aggressively crazy to get the cow. We're going to have to get London at some point, so it's not a huge deal. So I think what we're going to end up doing is going a couple of settlers after this. Should have maybe just gone cargo ship, honestly. We've gotten a little bit more value out of it. I mean, we're definitely going to add um, one settler. Then we'll have to take stock of our happiness. Because we're not going to get any more unique luxuries here. We've only met two people, so our trading abilities are going to be a little bit limited. Hong Kong is a uh, uh, mercantile sieve, though, so they will give us some luxuries, right? Uh, we could... Hmm, yeah, the Hanging Gardens would be beautiful. I wonder if I should have almost gotten that first. You are going to be... Okay, here's what's going to happen. This place is going to build a library after its granary. Um, our new city, we're going to buy the library there, and then we'll be able to build the National College with three cities. Because you don't need a library in a puppeted city to build the National College. You get your ass over here. You keep building the road. Maybe I might have this guy help build the road. I think I'll hook up the copper first for even more of a happy buffer, which will be good. Because, uh, yeah, there's no mine here either. So we'll hook up one of the coppers, and then he'll probably start building a road from Odysseus down to here to connect that up. And then all three of my cities will be connected. If you want to citadel, you can citadel from inside Hong Kong. Oh, that's right! As long as it's adjacent to my borders. That's true. You can even do that inside the AI, as long as you have either open borders or maybe are at war or something. Um, so for our first trade route, we're going to send, uh, unless someone wants a trade route, and no, no one cares about a trade route. So we're going to send food to Odysseus, because it doesn't have much in the way of food. It can have some production, um, and we want it to grow, so we're going to get that going on. I could have moved my trader to York, and then he could go to Hong Kong or London for gold, but we're making a profit right now, so it's okay. You're going to chill out here, just to keep an eye on that spot, make sure nothing weird spawns. You're about to grow, you're still on production focus, that's locked there. I mean, really, you're just going to work one of these other tiles regardless of how it's assigned. And TV Daredevil, you're just set on default focus with nothing locked, because I don't really want a micro. And we kind of actually do have to work these tiles, you're stagnating. Um, we kind of do have to work these tiles for the money, otherwise we'll have some bankruptcy problems. I suppose I might not want to work this. I might want to encourage them to not stagnate.
Yeah, it's just not very food rich. We could grow a little bit if I wasn't working this tile, would be it. Yeah, now we're not making any money. I mean, we've got enough money to, I assume, buy... We need 550 for a peer, uh, for a library, actually, so we don't have enough money as is. So we might not be able to insta-buy it over here. Do I want to be accruing the money? I guess if I do that, then we'll also be growing. So a little less faith, but... It still says stagnating? We're building a settler. It's Civ 5. It's not Civ 6. Therefore... Work those tiles, it's fine. This will finish the settler a little sooner. It's Civ 5, not Civ 6. Things are different in this game than in other... Ah! Actually, it's mostly the difference in Civ 6. I think, as, as things stagnated in every previous version, I think they did in 4. I think in earlier versions of that, you didn't stagnate. You just cost you a pop when you popped a thing. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just going to chill here. No one... Yeah, that barbarian encampment's too far away, buddy. Civ 4 and 3 as well. Okay. Goddamn settler. So can we get to 550 money somehow? most of our military strength is ranged. They're not going to like me anyway, so you know what? First of all, I'm going to officially revoke the protection. Someone else is probably pledging it, though. We can move more units towards it. Most likely I'd need some actual melee strength, though, to make them... Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? I beg your pardon? Okay. It'd be nice to get seven, but five will do. Great Lighthouse, Stonehenge. Fair enough. Those are getting late, it feels like. Mind that, please. So three cost population. Two for a settler, one for a worker. Oh, that's right. Even workers would cost pop. I remember that now. Losing, I apparently had a grasp on Antonin and Banana Revo from doing stuff. We're friends. Oh, that's actually mercantile, so we're getting some amount of happiness from that too, right? So what is it at friends to happiness? So we'll lose a little bit, but I think we'll still be okay. Especially once we get the, ho the copper hooked up. Well, our money's going to be going down a little bit here as we build the road. We will have enough, though, especially with that trade. Um, I don't suppose I have anything for, uh, for Shaka, do I? Oh, you're running out of money. I was like, I can sell you horses, uh, but apparently I can't, because you have no money. Not used to the AI running in negative money, though. Oh, I got a second trade route. So, I think it probably is worth building a cargo ship here, and running food to York or something like that. Workboat... I could build a workboat here and send it over to Decius, but he's going to be able to build a workboat for himself relatively soon. The Hunting Lodge would give us a fair amount more food here, actually, because it would give us an extra three food. Four food! i got to get these camps up. Hunting Lodge it is. All right, now that you've done that, build some roads that way. And yeah, I'm planning on building right on the dies. Although, the problem with this is it does give you more ocean tiles, which are crap. You can see, even while improved, the die tile is just garbage to work. I'd rather have this be like a farm, so at least it's two food tile, you know what I mean? So this will give us access to the extra die. It'll give us access to two money in our core tile, so we'll be a little wealthier. 
Um, I don't think I've got trapping yet. No, I don't. Philosophy, trapping into mathematics. And then probably get our comp bows to take England. We may want spearmen. It's possible the warrior could to take the city. But we probably want spearmen. Like, just one. There is only one. There's philosophy. Good. Odysseus has grown. Yeah, your tiles are all crap. I'm just gonna, like... Just... If I do this, will you stagnate? No. So, then, work that tile still. It's quite good. And it's gonna be better in a second as soon as that mine finishes. Plus one production and the faith bonus. Happiness has dipped. It'll probably go negative when we plant this down. But again, we're about to get some happiness over here, so that's gonna be okay. You want Coco, you've got the pop. Peace Treaty with Elizabeth ended. That's why we're not getting quite as much, because oh, we're missing a resource. I'm listening. Uh, wait, do I have an extra connect oh, trader for the... You. No. I'm listening. You want a couple of horses? I'm listening. You cannot be... Chaka's probably... Preparing Aurora, suspect London. Oh, you figure he spawned a bunch of units. That's why he doesn't have any money. Mm-hmm. Well, we need more workers, too. We actually are behind on our worker stuff, probably. So, we are one turn away from being able to buy a library here, which is lovely. Uh, you have crap tiles initially, and that's, it, that is very unfortunate. But it'll have to do. Um... I do like the idea of getting an early pyramid, but I think we're going to have to go either Granary or Hunting Lodge just to get a little bit of base food, even though we don't have anything else that'll combo from it. You're going to have to send trade routes to this place for it to be good. I don't, like... This inner ring, this is such a sad city right now. I actually should have waited. I should have probably done this one first, waited here until I had enough money to buy some tiles so that it could work useful, useful spots. But that's okay. Um, at least it's got the automatic monument, so its borders will push out a wee bit. So, we're going to name you to 33C Glynn. Yeah, and I can't rename York because it's a puppet. Once we go ahead and we annex it, we'll be able to rename it at that point. But yeah, it's a pretty weak-ass city for now. It'll be fine later. We'll probably farm up all this so that it's going to have something. But it's got access to some resources and... I mean, we had to put some city here at some point, but I probably should have prioritized this, as opposed to having everything good be two slash three tiles away. I could buy the iron, but what I really want to do next turn is purchase the library. So that that is done. And then ten turns, this library will be done, and then we'll start the National College over here. That is hooked up. Did we already have copper? Are we trading for copper? Oh, she might still be giving me copper. Okay. So that did not actually help out with the happiness. I thought, for some reason, I thought all those deals expired, but I guess it was just the peace treaty. We still have a bunch of copper coming in, so that didn't alleviate that issue. Uh, we do have a duplicate of copper, but I don't think Shaka wants it. Bayete. Gee, give me no money. We gotta meet more people, oh, goddammit. You. You were saying. Mm -hmm. There you go. But we have unlocked uh, the circus, so we can at least start working on that. Um, I, I'll delay the trade, the cargo ship a little bit more. Let's get the circus. So we're not growing right now, but oh well. That's the way it goes. Seven turns. That works out pretty nicely, because as soon as you're done the circus, you can start working on the, um, uh, the National College. It's a shame we don't have Wonder. We might try the Hanging Gardens. What's the north over here? Yeah, don't know yet. Religion's been founded. 
Protestants, we don't know where. So no religion on our continent yet. Our faith generation isn't that great. We haven't been building our, our super shrines that well. Yeah, so our money will take a big jump up as soon as we start to get some of these connections in. It's a pretty long road. And we're paying for every tile of the road, but other than that, it's okay. All right, I don't leave to, need to leave my units back here anymore. So we can move... Well, uh, technically, the site from this isn't far enough to fog bust to there. I might leave the warrior there a little bit longer. The scout did die, yes. We've had other things to do other than build uh, wonders. We had to, you know, do some war shit. <laughs> I did want to build the oracle, though. You remember that? So I can build the... I mean, did you... Did you... Wasn't there like 10 turns left to the library? I'm confused. I distract myself with the talking sometimes, but I thought... Because we do want the Oracle, but that means all of a sudden I can't work on the uh, on the National College. Alright, let's try. Happiness is back down to balanced. Uh, what I think I might want to do is avoid growth. Not that these are... Oh yeah, I can't change you. Um... Avoid growth in these cities. And allow it maybe in our capital. Ah! Do we want to avoid it there to not go negative either? Just for now. Mm, no, no, an extra tile over here would be pretty good. Yeah, I know we can get the National College later. But, science pretty good, and at least you can't fail to get the National College. Anyone want a trade route? Nope. Uh, money's still coming in. So, I mean, if I'm not doing growth, I don't really need to send food, though. What are the trade routes looking like, money-wise? That's boats. Which is just what I should have built in the first place. York to London, 4.5 gold. You know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Because I'm not declaring war instantly against London. We're not really in a rush. I gotta get some goddamn workers, too. That might have been better than building the pyramid. Well... There we go. So we're gonna do this, get the policy. So it's 20 turns. Now it's 18 turns. So shave two turns off of that. Um, the other thing to do with the workers... I mean, I do have to finish these roads. Because they're there now and costing me money. Um, but it would be... Awfully nice to go and chop some trees and rush this wonder. And I finally got trapping. Although, um, I don't think I want to chop the trees where the deer are. go. See, our income went up a little bit because this trade route, it'll go up a little bit more here. So I'm going to finish that. Then look into the chops. Can you pre-chop in Civ 5? I remember doing a lot of that in Civ 4. Basically, you just stop when there was one turn left. Why is everyone so poor? Get some goddamn luxuries. Get more money. What's wrong with you? Hang gardens. Well, that would have been nice, but... You can preach up, yeah. Take London, rename it to Belize. For the 50th time, I can't rename York while it's a puppet. We have to wait until we annex it. 
Or we're going to wait a little bit longer before that happens. We are going to go and chop here. We can chop outside of our borders. How long is the chop going to take? Oh, okay, not very long. Three things are to be looked at. All right, we'll not some money to start some upgrades. How just out of curiosity, how expensive is it? One twenty-five. That's we can work with that. I think we'd want one spearman. Now we even have um, we do have access to iron over here. We need some workers for crying out loud. Because um, we could even just try to get some swordmen. Uh, the other thing that would be nice is a single horseman, which we do have horses. That's a really good way to take a city because the extra movement, it can stay outside of bombard range. That's probably the ideal. Let's see if we can sneak one in there. Um, I don't think it's worth building catapults. Now, the comp bowmen have a strength of 11. Yeah, it's not that much. We may need... No, the catapults are just too weak. I don't think we've got time to go to physics for a trebuchet, though. We may actually not be able to make a run at London. You just build a worker. Chop. Chop. Three turns. Yeah. That should accelerate things. So most likely this will be done in actually three turns or two turns now. So do we get beaten to it that close? It's possible. Oh, yeah, York does... That's interesting! York doesn't get the free monument. I guess because it's a puppet. It's okay that it builds it, though, because then it'll get a... Um, whatever the next building is. The next culture building. It'll get that one for free. Chop, chop. One turn away. Yay! What's great about this free social policy is it actually is free, as far as I understand it. I don't think. I didn't check the before and after. Um, but it shouldn't increase the number of culture I need for the next policy. Which accelerates everything forever, which is kind of nice. So we're going to finish tradition over here. Get some free walls, that's fine. More importantly, we got 15% growth and a free aqueduct. Well, we get a free aqueduct in our first four cities. All of our cities get the 15% growth bonus, which is quite cool. And later on, we'll be able to faith buy great engineers. Mm -hmm. I want more workers, but, and I could also get a workboat up here, but I don't think we de delay the National College. So what's the next thing? Getting theology as early as possible is kind of key for um, for the Mayans because it starts their long count. Civil service is obviously quite good because we get the farm increase. Not that that's really much of a thing where we are here. We also gain the ability to build Chichen Itza, which is, you know, Chichen Itza is actually one of our cities. It's also a happiness wonder, which is really, really, really powerful and important. I don't particularly care about any of the wonders I think that are part of theology. The, one, the happiness wonder is going to be kind of nice. Why did I put avoid growth? Because of the unhappiness. And I wanted, if there was going to be any growth, I wanted it to happen in my capital. So I could probably take it off now. Because everything's growing a little slower. We will go like more and more negative happiness. I guess it's at this point. There we go. Since my capital did grow, because otherwise it would have been growing at a quarter of the rate. I can turn it off. They can grow. We'll go slightly more negative. Um, yeah, see, gold and production outputs, 2% for each point of unhappiness. And they will get unhappy as the city grows. And the question is, is this going to contribute something meaningfully or not? Are there religions left to be had? One religion left to be founded. You need 450 faith, though. 